Hello, my name is Thomas, and in this second video on James Bond's drinks, I thought I'd do coffee. The literary James Bond is a very big coffee drinker. He won't drink tea, which is the more stereotypically English thing to drink. He describes it as mud, and attributes the downfall of the British Empire to tea, which is quite strange. I did a very deep dive podcast episode on tea with a friend of mine in Fujo, which is really where Western cultures get a lot of their tea culture from. In fact, the word tea comes from te in the local language, Minanhua. Um, so I asked this local expert, why would Ian Fleming have that attitude towards tea? And there was no answer. Nobody had any answer. I asked all my audience for an answer and I got nothing really concrete, except maybe that Ian Fleming preferred coffee, therefore, James Bond prefers coffee. And he's very, very specific in his writing. So in the original novel, From Russia With Love, he talks about how breakfast was Bond's favorite meal. Yes, I'm reading it straight from the novel here. And he talks about how he brews it in an American Chemex. So this is an American Chemex. I've already put in the filter. I've poured some clean water through it, sloshed it out. So it's all clean and all ready. It says in the novel that he gets his coffee very strong uh, from Debray, New Oxford Street. Unfortunately, as I'm not in England, I can't pop along to Oxford Street, but I've got this, which is a Jamaican blend. And of course, we know that James Bond has a very special connection to Jamaica. Seems like no time to die will start out in Jamaica. It's where he retires to, and not really a surprise, since that's where Ian Fleming used to go to write his books. So I'm going to make enough here, just four, four spoons of coffee. Because again, it says it should be pretty strong. And as you can see, I've got two cups out well, two uh, for myself and for my wife. <laughs> she gets some too. Right. Relatively simple. Got some very warm water, still a little bit steaming. Just gonna pour it around counterclockwise. Being very, very careful. I don't want to put in too much water as that will make the filter burst. I just want a little bit to go through. No, I haven't. I haven't burst the filter. And I had a, a coffee lesson a little while ago. Uh, a barista taught me and a group of other people really the best techniques. They were saying, uh, oh, this, this little by little, pouring it a lot. So as we wait, I know it's not the most exciting process to watch somebody pour coffee, because again, I went to a class and I watched somebody pour coffee <laughs> for a good 20 minutes, I think. Um, so just have a look at some of the other things you had for breakfast. Single egg in a dark blue egg cup with a gold ring around the top. Boiled for three and third minutes. Bond is very, very particular in many, many small ways. He attributes it to the fact that often taking a lot of care of small details has kept him alive on missions. And so between missions, he can take a lot of interest in very, very small things, just like making breakfast. He talks about how he gets Tiptree Little Scarlet Strawberry Jam. Again, you get the brand name. So this is a, a Chemex, the Tiptree is his favorite jam uh, manufacturer. I was kind of interested. I've tried Tiptree, it's perfectly decent, but I thought, you know, Ian Fleming likes to give James Bond all kinds of exotic tastes in food and, and the finest. I hesitate to say Tiptree isn't the finest, but I think because James Bond is such a gourmet, he might be interested in some, you know, these days in some homemade jam. So, uh, so here I have some homemade jam to have with a snack that I'm gonna have with my coffee. And I made this according to the description of French jam that Ian Fleming gave in uh, his great novel, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang came out in the same year as You Only Live Twice. It's really interesting to read both. Uh, both are really give a lot of detail on food. You Only Live Twice is all about Japanese food and goes really, really deep into it. Uh, whereas Chitty Chitty Bang Bang uh, goes into French food and actually gives a couple of recipes aside from very, very detailed descriptions of food. So again, just pouring through very, very carefully. Anyway, he gives a really detailed description of jam, saying that French jam is very syrupy, often has whole fruit, so I made mine to, to fit that description. Probably put some pictures of that on Instagram in a bit. There we go. So this is slowly going through. Doing it counterclockwise or anti-clockwise in British English. That's what I normally speak. Again, just letting it all filter through now to have enough for 
two strong cups myself and, and hopefully enough my wife. So yeah, it's coming up to here. I think it should be enough. Just letting it drip through. Anything else? Oh yeah, we gotta have some, uh, some yellow Jersey butter. Wonderful. Jersey butter is a lot richer than normal butter. So interesting that uh, Fleming always gives these very strong tastes to Bond. He likes strong drink, you know, whether it's coffee or alcohol. He likes very, very rich foods. So again, this builds a picture. Okay, just going to put the filter aside in a, in a handy cup, my from Taylor's with Love cup. And there we go. Freshly brewed, the Chemex filter, Jamaican blend. Pretty decent Jamie Bond drink. 